Hey everyone, 365 Ninja here. I'm going to show you how to track changes in Word 2013. So this is really helpful if, for example, you are going to edit somebody else's document or make additions to it, and you wanna keep track of what you've changed and especially give them the option to either accept or reject your changes. So I have a document open here. I'm gonna to go to my Review tab and click Track Changes. Now you have a few different markup options and I'll show you what all the different options look like. For now, I'm actually going to switch to no markup, make a couple changes, and then show you the differences. All right, so I've made some changes and you don't see anything tracked, and that's because I had no markup selected. Now let's see what simple markup looks like. All right, in simple markup, the only thing that you see change is the addition of those red lines there on the left side. So my favorite way to actually track my changes is clicking all markup. So now you can see, you see those lines on the left hand side still, so you know where in the document changes have been made, but you also see the additions and subtractions underlined in red. And if there's additions, it's in a red font. So that makes it really clear to whoever's receiving this what you changed. Now, as you're going through and editing, while you're in the process, you might choose to just show simple markup so that nothing gets in your way. But if you ever need to look back at what you've changed, go back and change to all markup. So that's the basic way to track changes in Word 2013. I'll have more videos talking about how to actually receive changes and go through and accept or reject them and what you might do to track changes or do something that sort of resembles tracking changes in Word Online. So I hope this tip helped and please check back with 365ninja.com for those other videos I mentioned as well as other tips and tricks on Office 365. Thanks.